Hey YouTubers. Okay, it's been a while since I put a video. This is what I got. All right, so I've got my axle shims built. I may not have to use those. I'll show you a little bit why. But this side's done. This is just, uh, this works perfect. I made my own axle. Uh, just basically um, got a long piece of, I think it was 5 8 rod and um, put it in a vise and um, just kept using a sander and a, grunt and a flapper wheel and a piece of the um, uh, sanding cloth that's you know like one inch like this here Let's see if I can show you here this here so I uh, used that there and I was able to just um, get it down to the size I need to work in the axle here and then I made the spacers with some black pipe, plumbing pipe, like this. So that's works perfect, perfect diameter. Um, this is this one here is a um, just a regular bushing you can buy uh, if you go to your hardware store. You look at the specialty stuff. This is a regular bushing. I don't know if I'm gonna need this for what I decided to do now. So as you can see. I got the wheel here, it's on here. Um, I got the sprocket. I built all that, like I said before in a previous video. Uh, this was the brake hub right here. I moved it all up here, uh, built the spacers, put this all together here. Gotta finish welding this up, but uh, this is pretty straight now. Now I'm sitting here thinking, what do I wanna do for brakes? Uh, my last mini bike, um, I went from motor to sprocket, jack shaft over, to the you know to the other side with the disc brake i didn't want to do that <clears throat> with this because <clears throat> that was going to be really expensive and i was like you know there's got to be a way that i could put a brake on it so this is what i can i was like okay well this is you know this why can't i put a hub on this side i had another three wheeler with parts with another hub Just right here so that's what i'm going to do so this eventually, with this hub, I'll cut the welds. This weld here, get the hub, I call it a hub plate, which is underneath here. Get that off of there, use this hub, of course, for the brake. And here's the drum brake. So I will have factory Honda drum brakes in the rear. And I'll just weld it onto here. So let me get the hub here. I'm thinking it's going to be a little like like this here so it'll be on there like this well not exactly like that of course the actual shaft will be going through the center of it but something like that yeah so that's what the idea I have that's it's gonna work no no problem um, so that's what I'm gonna do so it's gonna take two two front end hubs to do it this is all front end hubs but uh, with two front end hubs, you can put brakes on the rear. I happen to have it with all the little three wheelers I've been buying just for parts. I have, you know, a couple of these extra. So, that's where I'm at for now. Um, I'm getting the leaks out of this tire. I have a leak right here in the bead. Uh, right here where I have a, it's dented right there. So I just gotta take this all apart and then hammer that bead, this back, the lip back, and then it'll stop. I've hammered it back some and it really stopped, it stopped the leak quite a bit. But I just have to finish hammering it back. And I don't think there's any on this side. Uh, these rims that were on this three wheeler were pretty bent up. The one that I originally started with was really bad. So I ended up going with this one here. So that's where I'm at so far. I've got the frame pieces that I'm going to start with. These here, these are originally what would hold the um, the original third member on. Um, I've modified them, I've bored those out bigger, I've cut everything. These are going to take a, these are going to work where these will be here for adjustment. And the axle will go through this way, and then the nut will be on the back side. And then I'll be able to adjust it. And I'm doing this on both sides to adjust the, the rear wheel backwards. So 
So I've had to drill these out. I've had to drill these out. And, uh, but it's gonna work good. Um, uh, the, the black pipe will fit inside of this pipe so I can continue when I get all this mocked up. I'll be able to set it underneath the frame and just use the black pipe as a, um, I forgot what it is, kind of like a plug uh, between the two pipes and weld it all together so it's strong. So that's where I'm at right now. Kind of worked on it all week. Uh, just been kind of taking a break from it. Got other stuff I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my motor home smogged right now. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. It's pretty cool. Uh, the sprocket looks off because of the fact I broke the weld, the tack welds, when I was trying to uh, fix the lip on this. But um, once I weld it back up, it'll be straight, be really straight again. So yeah, that's it. I'm probably still just a few weeks away, probably a couple weeks away from just having the bike built and running, and then of course tear down and repaint. And then after that, I'll be building my third one. So. I uh, plan on building five of them all together. Um, the second one is going to be another three-wheeler, and then after that, I'm not sure. I'm just going to throw something together. I'm not sure what. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, YouTubers, uh, I will get you another video as soon as possible. Keep on building. Talk to you later. Bye.